It's Thursday. Let me come at you for a half a second, okay? It's Thursday the 20th of August. How is everyone doing? Nice to hear from you all yesterday. I'm kind of refreshed today, you know. Um, I have to start with, you know, current events. That's how I do. So, uh, let me just first clear the air because not everyone who's watching has been watching me. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm not left. I'm not right. I'm not a centrist. I'm alive. I'm a human. And I give a damn. And with that said, how refreshing it was to hear some intelligent speaking last night at the convention. I'm not fooled. All those people are just politicians, including the ex-president, but they, but they speak like, it's nice to hear someone speak like a human being. But before I go on, I'll say again that I, 65 years old, okay, I've been here for a while. Politics is hopeless in regards to coming through with actually representing the people, they represent money interests, and everything else is smoke and mirrors. But it would it sure was nice to see, it would sure be nice to have just at least a halfway decent human being, or someone who appears to be halfway decent in the office, even, if, even though they're still just a, a corrupt politician representing money interests. That's my comment. Um, it was very refreshing to hear people speak com competently and coherently. We do not get that from Trump and his people. So, music. Very important. It's a sustainer in these days. Oh, I want to share that, actually, you know since it's part of what I do. So my show next, next a week from tonight is my next show, Low End on the Bricks. And um, this is through the Bemis Center for Contemporary Arts. It's, um, I'm really honored actually, because when I look and see who they've had to play and who they have coming in the Low End series, I'm extremely honored to be a part of it. I was number two. And all these national and international acts, interesting artists, you know, are on the uh, queue. And this, I'm, I'm, they're having me back for the second time. I'm taking it all and I'm sharing it with you because it really feels good. You know, it's wonderful. The show is sold out. Now, of course, they can't sell anything to capacity. This is going to be outside and they have these rules for social distancing. But what feels good is the fact that there was that much interest and that it sold out and they actually had to post on Eventbrite that you can leave your name on a waiting list in case anyone cancels their uh, reservation. That really feels good. Now, the other interesting thing about the show is here's the reality of the pandemic. Glow in the Dark had to drop out of the show because their lead singer caught COVID. Man. That sucks. So the rest of us will just be... Now, originally it was going to be three acts, then they added a fourth. Now it'll just be three, and we'll just all play a little bit longer. But what a shame. COVID is real. So musically last night, um, honestly, I'm just going to keep talking real. I got a charge out of seeing the dignified... Uh, countenance of Obama, and I was not a, an Obama follower, and it's all online. All the way back to his first presidency, I said before he even got voted in that this is a setup for a big white backlash. You know, and I was right. So I've, I've never been a Obama person, so you cannot... People have tried to come up the usual left-right shit. Says, you know, you can't use that against me. I was never fooled. But um, that um, really lifted my spirits to hear him speak like an intelligent human being. Put on some music to match it. Lenny White's Big City. 
1977. Love this album. This is Kills. And uh, I bought it when it came out. Uh, it was way into this music. And this is just a fantastic album. Um, stellar personnel. And he uses them to their strengths. You know, when Herbie plays, you know it's Herbie Hancock. When Brian Auger plays, you know it's Brian Auger playing that solo. When Neil Sean of Journey, formerly of Santana, plays, he's, whoa, that is Neil Sean. Ringing some fucking strings. There's a killer album. Big City by Lenny White. Got to meet Lenny many, many years ago and have a beer with him and Al, Al Demiola. They were great. They didn't have to do that. They invited me to their table. So after that, I put this on because um, I wasn't able to buy this right away. So I added this to my collection probably decades later. Lenny White's Venusian Summer, which was the very next album after Big City. And so last night was a revelation because... Um, the Venusian Summer um, Suite is Prague. Fucking killer. I said, what is this? I kept looking. At Lenny White. Wow. For a minute, it could be Klaus Schultz. This is badass. And it gave me such a lift. Such a lift. I've listened to this again. Um, thumbs up to Kansas. This is a good album. Just period. It's a good album. Okay. Uh, an, an old band that came up online, some friends. Jeff Runnings from the band Four Against. Do you shoegaze lovers know Four Against? The leader of that band is my good friend. We were talking yesterday, as well as with Jim Jones, who is another local um, interesting people. And they were talking about the Comset Angels, and so I pulled some. Actually, um, Jim was talking about this album, Sleep No More. 1981. This is a deep, deep album. Classic. It, it, is a, it is really criminal how this band did not make it and how U2 stole their sound. And U2 admitted, I still remember the article reading it. He, uh, Ed said it. I think I still have the article. This is an, a monster album that you really ought to hear. And then while pulling some stuff, this came up, which is later. I mean, they really tried to make it, so they became really commercial and got on Jive Arista. They were still making good songs, but they were making these um, concessions to try to get on the radio, and it, it didn't work. But this, this is good. You've Moved Me, One Good Reason. They show, once again, very good songwriters. But it just wasn't in the cards for them to break through. Last thing I'll show is this, because I got a bunch, but I don't like these to go too long. Peter Ivers used to have the New Wave Theater. Love that show. Peter Ivers Band, Night of the Night of the Blue Communion. This is a weird album. This is Avant Garde. This is way cool. It's it's um, raw, edgy, and um, it just like his show was. It just you know, he just. In your face. I love it. I want to stop here so that it doesn't take all day to upload. But um, last thing I'll say about politics, because it's, it's, it's affecting all of us, is like, you know, it is not excusable, the tactic of calling names, mudslinging, uh, defensively making up stuff, in response and this is what the Republicans led by Trump do it's inexcusable it's immature it, there's no integrity there much less intelligence it, and and it's not helping anyone it's really um, really sad how short-sighted these people are <laughs>